Hi. I got a haul, y'all. Stay tuned. Hi. Okay, so uh, I had to make a trip to Tyler today. And after we got through with business, I was on a mission. Okay. There is this... Um, it's what I call authentic Texas chili. It has meat and uh, like big chunks of meat, not the ground up beef like you, you normally see in chili, but it's like chunks of meat and chili peppers and no, not even tomatoes, but it's chilies. And so a real authentic Texas chili has no beans. Oh, don't you even try to put beans in my chili. And it really doesn't even have tomato sauce. It just has all these chilies. And they're, they're ground down. And then they're, it, the, the meat is slow roasted in those chilies. And whew, hot but good. So I was on a mission. I'm going to make a, my own version of that. So I had to f go and find chilies that I wasn't finding at Walmart. So, the first place we went to, well, <laughs> start off with, the first place we went to is we went out to eat. We went to a restaurant in Tyler called El Mexicana. E-L-M-E-J-I-C-A-N-O. El Mexicana. And it's a Mexican buffet. And, uh... And we're not talking Tex-Mex. I mean, they do have some Tex-Mex, but this is good. They have menudo on the bar. This is how authentic, type, you know, the closest authentic as you can get. <clears throat> as to real good mixing cooking. So what I ended up getting was their um, uh, brisket. They had, a, a, I don't know what they call it, some kind of brisket. Slow roasted brisket or something that's really good. And I got a chicken leg that had a uh, mole sauce on it. And then I got um, a, what they call taco meat. And what it is, is it's basically the, the brisket, probably from the day before. And then they recook it and add more spices to it. And then I put cheese on that. So, And then I had a little thing of avocado. So the only carbs that came from that dinner was the mole sauce. And uh, the little bit that from the avocado wasn't much. And man, I did get my portion of protein in today. That's no lie. Uh, the only green that was showing on that plate was the avocado. Man, it was good. I'm still full for it. <coughs> so, but um, I wanted to show. We actually went, afterwards, we went to a... A health food store, health food grocery store. Um, it wasn't exactly what I was look, looking for, but I came home, home with some good stuff. Um, start off with, let me see. Um, got a tub of pink salt. In my area, um, unless you go to somewhere like Tyler or, or Dallas or you order it offline, um, you can get pink salt. Oh, seriously. That moth ain't no more. Um, and then it comes in little um, things, and it's got a grinder on top. The the bottle with that is about five bucks or four something. <clears throat> this will hold probably at least fill it. This this will fill up one of those at least twice. Uh, it's twenty ounces, and it was about five dollars. So I couldn't pass on that. Had to have the rock, have have the pink salt. Okay, so the next thing I bought was uh, chai seeds, and yeah, we can get it in our little grocery store. And seriously, oh, now that moth is no more. Okay, um, but this was a couple of bucks. I wanted to try it. Um, our grocery store, the chai seeds tend to be in a bigger container, so I wanted to try try them. Um, then I picked up. Bee Pollen Royal Jelly and Propolis. I don't know if it's a big bunch of height, um, but I, I've heard for at least 30 years 
that it was good to help build up immune system and yeah worth a try and it was on just uh had a 20 percent discount so i think i paid uh probably about 11 dollars for this we'll see how this works out <coughs> excuse me yeah still cough and then um uh, got some tea uh first of all uh echinacea plus uh immune function with elderberry we'll try that see how it works and then I've got um, classic Indian spice. In fact, that's what I happen to be having my tea right now. Mm. A little bit of a sweetener, uh, heavy whipping cream. Oh yeah. I used to work for a, a woman, uh, Dimple, and every time they and she made the chai tea for her family, and uh, every time she makes some, she'd bring me out some. And it was nothing like uh, the chai tea that you get the powdered chai tea. Yeah, no. This is, this is more of her chai tea. And uh, this actually, it, it I, I could have let it steep a little bit more because it can get really strong. And hers tune will be stronger than that. And next time I steep it, I will steep it stronger. But yeah, this is good. Spicy. I mean, it, it's not spicy as in hot, but uh, it's got ginger root. Roasted chicory root, carrot pod, cardamom pod, cinnamon bark, clove, uh, stevia leaf, and black pepper. And it to me it needed a little more sweetening, so I added more sweetening. But yeah, this is good. Th this is really worth trying out. Now, <laughs> <coughs> we don't keep much nut butters in the house because you know they are high in carbs but every once in a while when you're looking for something and something doesn't satisfy a, a small spoon of almond butter or peanut butter or whatever tends to be just enough and it's not too horribly bad in, in carbs as long as you do it in moderation but I found this okay see this this is raw walnut butter. Uh, raw walnut nut butter with cashews. And this has, um, and the ingredients is organic raw walnuts and organic raw cashews. Total carbs of six, six grams for this whole packet. Uh, dietary, dietary fiber, two grams. So uh, one packet has four net carbs to do that right yeah four net carbs and i own about one each but what i'm thinking is and even my mom thought that was perfect half it half for her half for me and then that would give us two net carbs and usually that's just perfect you know it's good i only bought one of them one of them yeah one of these and this other one is raw pecan nut butter with cashews I saw this one first had to get it and it's the same thing two grams uh, carbs dietary fiber two grams so four four grams this whole thing and also it has organic raw pecans and organic raw cashews and if this is good we may end up going to find, you know, bigger jar. <laughs> or maybe not. Uh, might not be a good idea. We'll see. So that's what I got at the um, the health food store. I didn't buy much. <coughs> However, like I told you, I was on a mission to find chilies, spices. Um I was hoping that that store it had bulk spices so I could buy a little bit at a time because there's some spices we don't use a lot but want every so often um, I was disappointed in spices but I come away with some good stuff now let me tell you do not underestimate ethnic grocery stores okay do not because I think we just me and my mom now has a new shopping place uh, there's uh, in a town 
Okay, so we went to Tyler. On the way back to home, we have to go through a town called Athens. And Athens has got this um, Mexican grocery store that I've seen for years. I mean, I've been living in this, this area for 20 years, and I swear it's probably been there for that long. And uh, I had seen online where somebody was talking about uh, getting pork skins at, you know, uh, a Mexican uh, grocery store and I thought but you know what they also have spices so and I'm, I was needing and sure some of this could have been bought I'm sure if I looked hard enough at um, my regular grocery store but these these were cheap this is a can of chipotle peppers uh, it's in a adob adobo sauce and uh, three grams, to, uh, three grams total carbohydrates minus one gram of fiber. So you're looking at um, a serving of two grams of carbohydrates in adobo sauce. So that's not bad when you considering it's also the sauce. Um, but chip, I needed chipotle peppers for that beef. Uh, chili and this it was like um dollar something again dollar maybe two dollars I think it was like dollar ninety nine a can not bad though uh what else did I get spices y'all I'm telling you you need spices you go to a, a Mexican restaurant no lie one of the uh the recipe called for several peppers and one of one of them was the chipotle one of them was cascabel and I'm probably butchering it what I found y'all I don't know if I'm gonna eat all these peppers in a lifetime but and I think it calls like for two of these in there a dollar ninety nine a dollar ninety nine and then we got ancho chilies, two forty nine. Now these might get used up all the all the way. I'm gonna have what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, there's a way of rehydrating these. I think I think I might rehydrate them and then zip them up and then uh, make a paste out of them. Ancho chilies, okay. Um, marjoram. Uh, sure, you can get these in spices, but uh, I didn't have any. It was in the recipe, so I picked it up. 99 cents. Chili Arbol. 99 cents. And apparently, I thought I needed two. <laughs> I, I'm thinking I thought they were different chilies, but because uh, they're different manufacturers, but 99 cents. Again, probably have that for a lot of time. Uh, ground Anato, another chili, I think. I'm not sure if this is a hot one. I can't tell. It's sealed up. Uh, again, 99 cents. And then, um, just out of curiosity, I wanted to see for, uh, add some of this for tea. It's uh, Rosebuds. 99 cents for tea. Now, Y'all, I was in keto heaven, let me tell you, okay? <clears throat> they, you, first of all, you walked into that grocery store and they had their own, uh, little, uh, they sold food, uh, prepaid, pre-made food, so it's like a little restaurant. You go, you go in and it was like, um, like, what, what do they call it? Um, you know cafeteria type you you go in and I want this and I want that and I want that and they put it on a plate and they had tables but you walked in and it smelled really good it, I think it smelled better than the Mexican restaurant we went to it smelled really good so we go back I'm looking at the chilies and then I look at they had their own meat department and I was looking at the meat and and on top of their counter they have chicharrones and if you don't really know what chicharrones is if you're confused 
chicharrones. I know you're going, that's pork rinds. Um, kind of. Chicharrones is, um, it, it's, it's harder. And it tends to have, um, more of the fat from the pork, um, more, more fat on it than pork rinds does. Um, you know, it, it's, but they're smaller and they're harder. I don't know how they fix it different or anything, but, uh, these are good. Let me tell you. These are good to cook with. <clears throat> Before we got on keto, um, I used to, if I had like a soup, um, like a, this is not keto approved. <laughs> it's not even my approved right now. But used to, if I was doing, um, trying to think, uh, romaine noodles, that's what I was trying to, you know, it had all that sauce. Uh, these were good to put in there in the in the hot sauce, and they would soften up, and they they'd give an extra texture to it. Uh, but yeah, I'm telling you, these are good to cook with, and these would probably be good to uh, grind up for uh, mixing in in other stuff. But that is not it. Okay, so I bought this. I bought a pound of this. I grabbed the bag. And my mom goes, look at here. <laughs> Y'all. Pork rinds. <laughs> pork rinds. Look how large these are. These are not one bite. No, this is like, holy crap. The whole hog is in here. The whole freaking hog. <laughs> Oh my god. She's like it was, it, this is like seven something a pound. I was like, grab it. She was like, but the price I, was, I don't care. We've we've got to get this. <laughs> they 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 make them there. I mean they, they cook cook the pork rinds there or the skins there. And so this is about as fresh pork rinds as you're ever going to find. But I just holy smokes. They're freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but like I said, do not underestimate ethnic uh, grocery stores. But holy cow. I'm just gonna, I'm not, I, what do you do? I don't break it up, but it's like, we have a dog that every time I, I get pork rinds, I usually get a bowl of pork rinds and I'll bring them in here and then I'll do my editing or whatever I need to do on the computer. And he is not one to beg for anything. You can sit there and eat, and he'll be asleep on the floor. Okay. But pork rinds. I'll bring pork rinds in, and he'll come up, and he will stare at me. Stand there and stare at me the whole time I eat. <laughs> Until I give him one. And then tell him, okay, that's enough. <coughs> the other dogs... The other dogs... One of one of them, she loves she loves it too, but she loves anything. And the other one is like, yeah, okay, if you're gonna give it to me, I'll take it. But this one dog, he, that's his. He would be in hog heaven. I'm in keto heaven. This is keto heaven, really. <laughs> okay, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye.